Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this short video, I'm going to talk about pH. The big question is how do you know if you're too alkaline or too acid? And that's a good question because even when people tell you you're too acid and you need to alkalize, that's it's not necessarily always the fact because what what body fluid are you talking about? I mean, are you talking about the blood, which normally should be slightly alkaline, or are you talking about the stomach, which is extremely acid, or the urine that should be slightly acid, or the bile that should be alkaline or the large bowel that should be acid. So you always want to determine what pH you're talking about. What I'm talking about is the blood pH. The blood pH should normally be slightly alkaline. And if it's just up a little bit too excessively alkaline, um, you can get all these symptoms right here. If it's a little less than that, it could still be on the alkaline side, but just not as alkaline, you can be more acidic. So that's basically all the symptoms that can occur if your blood pH is too far this way versus too far this way, okay? So let's just talk about symptoms. You can use symptoms versus, uh, rather than like a pH uh, thing for your saliva or your urine, because how are you gonna check your blood? You know, it's really an expensive test, and by the time you take the blood out of your body, it oxidizes with the oxygen and the pH shifts, so it's really hard to detect that. So I like to use symptoms first, okay? So if you're too acid, you could have possibly chest pain palpitations, because it affects the, the electrolyte mix, headaches, anxiety, muscle weakness, bone pain, joint pain, and air hunger, like, like you're, <sighs> can't get enough air, okay? And then alkaline would be, excessively alkaline would be muscle, muscle twitches, like tetany, that little t -t 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 that twitch right here or on the arm, allergies, muscle spasms, muscle cramps, muscle weakness. Why? Because the calcium is all locked up. You're gonna have calcium buildup too. Dehydration, because you, you need this, the electrolytes need to be hydrated correctly, and if the pH is off to alkaline, you can't mobilize electrolytes, muscle pain, and also uh, difficulty breathing. This, should, this might be more of a hyperventilation. It's just, it's just a difficulty with breathing, but sometimes it's, it's difficult because you might have some of these and some of, some of these. So there's one quick way to determine what way you, you are. All you have to do is drink some apple cider vinegar, like two tablespoons and some water with a straw. Drink that and see if some of these issues clear up and you feel better. And if you do, that means that you're too alkaline. Or let's assume that you're too acid. Take some calcium citrate or calcium magnesium and see if you don't feel better. It's a quick way to determine uh, what pH you are. So that's a that's one way that you can do it. So it's you don't necessarily have to do an expensive test. And some people, I just give them a little calcium, uh, magnesium, or, or lactate, and boom, like half of these things clear right up. But the ultimate thing to do is to get on the right eating plan, and your body will bring your pH to the correct balance. Now, as we're talking about symptoms and causes, I have a quiz down below in the description box that's 104 questions. Go ahead and take this quiz, and I will send you a report to, to tell you what's going on with your body. All right, thanks for watching.